Hi, my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I am in my living room. <laughs> so why you ask? Well one, it's been a long work day and I'm currently cooking dinner for me and the, the boyfriend <laughs> and honestly my kitchen is just not in the state. It has groceries, it's just one of those days. So yeah, it's just one of those days where I kind of just want to sit on my couch and relax. Normally I don't do unboxings anywhere near furniture like this because dirt. <laughs> but honestly, I'm just going to take one for the team and vacuum afterward. <laughs> my last unboxing was supposed to be my last unboxing until summertime. But Arige from Botanica RS or Botanica United States posted some plants that I really wanted and well... I justified it by saying we're some degrees away from being too cold. <laughs> Funny enough, today was seriously the coldest day we've had so far. And that is another reason why I'm in very cozy clothing. <laughs> All right, so she shipped it with similar to last time where it's just two kind of shipping boxes taped together. footage comes out. It looks bright enough, but do I look like crap? I don't know. Do I normally look like crap? Possibly. It's kind of nice to unbox like this where you can watch me fumble around like an idiot, mostly because I've never been good in my kitchen about getting a good frame to where you can see me doing the unboxing, so that's why I usually see it panning back and forth. <laughs> so if you prefer the panning back and forth method, please do let me know but this really is probably last unboxing for this year, so you probably won't really see any until next year. I'm most likely putting out my Ethereum care video the week before this, so if it is up, I will link it at the end of this video, and I really hope you do enjoy it. I poured my little stupid heart out into researching for that video and really just kind of understanding my plan. So another reason of like unboxing, like why I haven't done it like, on my couch is because I've always had a fear that I would open up a box and something would just come tumbling or spiraling or just onto me, like some kind of pest or rodent, I don't know. But I feel like it's something that would happen to me. So that's why I don't do it here. That is really neatly packaged and taped in. There's some foam, some paper. Everything looks cozy. I did get a heat pack with mine. First plant. <laughs> okay. I think there's one in here that I don't know how to pronounce, so forgive me. I kind of just saw it and <laughs> really liked it. Honestly, I could be pronouncing every single plant wrong and I would just never know. So this wonderful little beauty is my Anthurium angamarcanum, and I will definitely do a closer shot of this plant. I'll probably even insert it right here. Move to the side because this would be a great spot for one of those little side panel things as I describe it. So cute. I saw this on the website and it is a problem because yes, I have one of these, but I saw it and I was like, oh, you're so cute like my other one. So I got it. I need to not buy plant doubles, but sometimes it's really hard. <laughs> like, I don't even think you want to know like how many queens I have right now. Just So this beautiful Anchor here, so freaking velvety, guys. Like, I just... <sighs> I love these. I love how it has a rounder look to this one. Like, I don't know if it just gets more elongated as it grows. I'm assuming it does because I've seen adult versions where they are pretty long. But also, import-wise, I have noticed that there are a few that are called Angamarcanum or Marmoratum as well. And they look different from each other. So I don't really know what's the true Angamarcanum, what's the true Marmoratum. I don't know but I know I like this kind of angamarcanum. So that, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of derpy. It's so cute. 
and has a few little blemishes here, but that may have been from shipping or it may have been because it's kind of a bratty plant. Honestly, my other one started getting blemishes too when I first got it and it kind of just needs time to adjust. Like it's just gonna have a few blemishes, nothing crazy, but that's just the kind of plant it is. It's just kind of, it's a bit fickle from my experience. <laughs> Now for this crazy big plant, whatever you are. Oh my God. Okay. And this little plant, I think it is, that it's way larger <laughs> than I was expecting. So this particular plant that was a last minute purchase after I had already picked the ones I kind of wanted. <laughs> it had been one I've been staring, I was staring at the website quite frequently. And this was always one that I was like, wow, I really like it. But I'm like, do I really need it? Um, will I really like it that much? Holy crap. I thought this was a baby. <laughs> I can actually show you that plant, which is how freaking big that is. How insane is this? This is the Anthurium. <laughs> I think I'm announcing this wrong, or right? It's Pseudospectivalis. I will put the proper name down below. Because I know there's two names that sound really similar, so I gotta make sure that I'm saying the right one. But oh my god! Like, it does not even fit like in the frame with me. Like... What head? Wow. So you look at it up close, it's just super furry and thick. It's petioles, ac petioles actually more triangular in its shape. And one of the identifying markers on an anthurium, which I go over in my anthurium care video, is the geniculum here. And that is what is responsible for the movement of the leaf into it. Kind of just points toward being a girl. It's what helps the anthurium head kind of take its leaf and point it toward different directions without having to move the entire petiole like a philodendron does. So this is actually one of the identifying markers. If you're not sure if you actually have an ethereum, look for one of these. This is one of the telltale signs. And the one on this one is extremely prominent. No doubt there, it is a completely different color. It's so light on this one. This is just, absolutely gorgeous wow and it looks like it didn't get distressed from shipping at all this was actually already there from when i bought it it's just absolutely stunning so i should have two more plants that was fun come to me planties here the last two plants <laughs> I'm sorry I'm such a savage when I just open these. I'm not a delicate opener. I try really hard to sometimes. Alright, so this is my Ethereum Pink Lady Pink Lady Yeah, something like that. Oh, I am so excited. Ah. So recently I bought a hybrid of two other anthuriums and it has, it doesn't quite look like this, but it's similar in its shape and it actually doesn't include this anthurium at all in the hybrid, which is the funny part, but I absolutely love it. And when I saw this one, it just reminded me of it. I thought it was so cute. I absolutely, oh God, just look at it. Like how cute is this? Like, absolutely adore this. Like, it's so cute and so happy. I don't know. I think it's nice to kind of just get a fun shaped anthurium because a lot of the ones I have, I absolutely adore them. You know, the velvet leaves, ugh, like just the best. But sometimes it is nice to kind of branch out from that family of anthuriums and kind of just get something that is more unique and interesting looking. I'm really excited for this one. Like, so happy to have it in my collection. Just 
absolutely beautiful. And just so cute. <laughs> and we all know and love this one. I have a smaller one from Eden CPS. And I'm excited about this particular one. It's not gigantic, <laughs> so don't go crazy thinking I'm going to show you a massive specimen. Um, my other one is just very small. Really, I could have just waited, but I didn't. I don't know. I don't know why. I really could. <laughs> but sometimes when you see someone post a plant that you know is 100% going to sell out within a few days, if not hours, then I kind of just seize the opportunity. Don't touch my couch, you dirty piece of paper. Now I gotta sanitize them. So this is none other than the Anthurium regale. <sighs> yes, yes, what a cutie. <laughs> he isn't the biggest form, no, but he is quite the stunner and I am so happy to have him. What? This velvety veining is out of this world. He's just a real stunner. Like, I can't believe how nice and the darkness of the leaf. Like, I always knew Regale was darker in color. Even my smaller one is. But just seeing him in, his, in a larger form like this, super beautiful. And even though the veining isn't, let's say, as prominent as crystallina wise because it lacks the color, I would say, in a way, it's more prominent because it stands out more in a kind of neon way. So while it lacks like the color white, it has this pop in it that's insane. And I absolutely adore it. And the velvety sheen is just to die for. Absolutely beautiful. Like what? Oh geez. So in love. <laughs> So these actually arrived really great. I was actually a bit worried, especially for my regale here, because temperature wise, like I said, today was the coldest day of the year. I, I know these are more finicky. <laughs> so that was my kind of experience there. Um, my smaller regale isn't too finicky. But I've seen people get larger ones where they absolutely just kind of freak out during acclimation. I'm hoping he acclimates okay. I actually, for winter, bought an indoor greenhouse. And this will help. And I'm still going to leave my plants out around my house. I'm just going to have a little area for plants that I think may need the extra TLC during the winter time. Another reason is because I have some plants that I'm going to be selling that I kind of just want to keep them away from my regular collection. So it's just kind of going to be a bunch of things in there. <laughs> I'll actually do a video of how the setup looks. So I wish I recorded me building the greenhouse, but other than that, you're just going to kind of see what it looks like. I absolutely in love with it. So I'm really happy to show everyone it and my cats adore it too. It's zippered closed so they can't get in. <laughs> Certainly it's a great idea. My humidifier, um, well, I have one in there. It doesn't have to run to keep humidity higher than the rest of the house, which is so nice. And I don't have to worry about keeping humidity high in there because it's in the tent and it's not going to affect my walls if that was always a concern of mine because I don't keep my house humidity above 60%. And I know a lot of people are probably like, whoa, that's insane. These are tropical plants. You watch my Ethereum Care video, you'll kind of just... Um, See me explain the reasons behind this. They're okay, guys. They're okay. <laughs> but really, really happy with this. These are the bang bangs. Bang bangs. Feel real weird. <laughs> Pseudo spectrum <-spectabalous. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was just so big. It's incredible, though. Like, it's really nice. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> These are my guys. They're gonna be in their fun loving humidity tent. I may just keep them in there all winter just to kind of use it as my own little acclimation chamber. I'm 
I was about to tell you what I have in my greenhouse, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to save that for the greenhouse video because it's not going to be any fun if you know everything about it already. So that's going to be that. Yay. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like down below. I would appreciate any feedback as well. If you do like this setup, that's awesome. I could do more like this for the kitchen. I will keep it in the kitchen, but honestly, just tell me what you prefer. If you like both of them, I'll do both of them. <laughs> um, I'm not looking to do as many unboxings going forward, but it's not like I won't have them at all next year. I'm sure I will. <laughs> but other than that, if you do like my content, please subscribe. I do put out a video every Wednesday and occasionally on Fridays, very rarely. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.